everybody welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be taking a look at this announcement made by Naughty Dog in regards to The Last of Us Part 2 but more specifically it has something to do with what they're like what they're calling The Last of Us 2 day yes it is as cringy as it sounds and apparently this is supposed to be them desperately and I mean desperately trying to win back whatever fans that they chose to piss off by completely pissing all over their, their characters pissing all over characters that they absolutely loved and pissing all over fans who basically said anything negative about them basically any fan who went out and said you know what I really don't like what you're doing I don't understand why you're doing this they chose to just call them a bunch of is a bunch of phobes and Neil Druckmann Neil Cuckman I guess I should say even went so far as to basically say that fans don't matter seriously look that up if you don't believe me now let's head on over to Naughty Dog's actual Twitter account and this is the actual post that they made so let's let's just go ahead and read it and see just how just how fucking delusional these people are oh, Jesus Christ let's go ahead all right let's look at this the last of us day Ugh. For the last seven years, September 26th has been our opportunity to recognize and celebrate the incredible passion of the Last of Us community. However, as we thought about the events of the last year and the challenges we all continue to face with, you know, that, uh, the, the, the beer bug, we didn't feel right continuing on under the, quote, Outbreak Day banner. While the name and date are rooted in the fiction of the game, September 26th means so much more than lore. It's about... Okay, this is the funny part. It's about showing our appreciation for our fans. Let's just stop right here for a second. Let's just stop right here for just two seconds and just, just, just unpack this for a second. So you want to show your appreciation for your fans, huh? Okay, let me ask you something. At any point during the making of this game, did you ever think that maybe, you know, maybe your fans, you know, your, your fans, the people who... Are pretty much responsible for you being where you are now did you ever think that maybe just maybe completely destroying these characters did, did you ever think that maybe just doing that will end up pissing off your fans did you ever think that maybe that isn't a good way to show your appreciation for your fans or, or, or how about this how about for anyone who's here on YouTube that you chose to file false copyright claims and false copyright strikes simply because they talked about leaks, not even showing anything on screen. They just talked about what they know, which by the way isn't wrong, which by the way isn't breaking copyright isn't breaking any copyright laws. And yet you chose to completely ignore that and just file false copyright claims, but but probably even worse than that, you filed false copyright strikes that nearly got their channels destroyed. Channels that they worked years on so that they can be where they are now. And you are about to take all of that away from them when they did absolutely nothing wrong. See, I, I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't seem like a good way to show your appreciation for your fans. I mean, is, is, is it just me or am I, am I crazy? But that doesn't seem like a good way of showing your appreciation. It shows your disdain for fans. It shows how much you hate them because they were, they're actually willing to call you out on your bullshit. And by the way, I'm surprised you even call you even say you have fans. I'm surprised you even use the word fans. You don't have fans anymore. You have ass kissers. That's what you have. All these people that are fucking ass kissers. That's what that's what that's what they are. Not this person. This person right here gave me the fucking century. Bull fucking shit. Go fuck yourself. Uh, that's why this Saturday and moving forward, September 26th will be known as The Last of Us Day, a name that not only acknowledges the world around us, ugh, but also reflects the growth of the community. And oh, oh, here, here's the funny, here's the next funny part. As we, quote, welcome millions of new players with the release of The Last of Us Part Two, We have a lot of exciting things planned and we can't wait to share them with you in just a few days. Welcome millions of new players with the release of The Last of Us Part 2. I'm sorry, what new players? What new players, Naughty Dog? What new players? A have you just been ignoring all the videos that people have made on YouTube pretty much covering the fact that no one is buying your game? Did you just choose to ignore all of that? Did you cho just choose to ignore the fact that, yeah, that, that, that sales for The Last of Us Part 2 have severely decreased? 
did you did did you just choose to ignore that, or are you just that fucking ignorant? Again, I don't know how many times I have to say this. No one is buying this game because nobody likes this game. Well, okay, say for maybe a few people, but the majority hates this game. The majority hates this game, and it's not just fans of The Last of Us who are looking forward to the sequel, even normies, even people who only played The Last of Us and thought, oh, okay, you know, this is a good game, and then heard about The Last of Us Part 2 and thought, you know what, I like the first one, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy the second one. Even they, even those people played the game and thought, you know what, I, I'm not a big fan of this game, and they chose to give it back. And now it's being sold in bargain, in bargain sales. And even when, even when they're being sold at like half price, no one's buying them. Because word of mouth started to spread and, and, and more and more people started to became aware of the fact that this is a shitty game that shits all over the characters that you like from the first game. That kills off a character that you love just for the sake of a fucking agenda. They chose to completely dumb down the character, make him do things that he would never do just to get him into a situation where he would be easily killed. All because you couldn't write a fucking good story to save your life. These people are insane. Okay, this is insane. Like, this, they are desperate right now. They're going so far as, as to say just outright lies, like welcoming new millions of new players that don't exist, by the way. And showing your appreciation for your fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, w w really? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you for the appreciation. We really, really appreciate you uh, filing false copyright strikes, false DMCAs, and false copyright claims for doing absolutely nothing. We, we, we really fucking appreciate you. Thank you so much. And here's our thank you to you. Go fuck yourselves. I'm just going to end this video right here. Uh, let me let me uh, let me know as always guys whether or not you enjoy the video Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below as always and if you enjoyed the video And if you want to see more from me all you have to do is click on the like button Share this video on whatever social media platform you use and maybe consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet Because uh, I do check the analytics and I do know that most of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed So if you are subscribed, maybe this video is what finally earned your subscription and I do just want to uh, say a big thank you to all the people who did subscribe and helping me get to a thousand views which is my goal for now with this channel so if you want to help me with that again all you got to do is head on down and click on the subscribe button i'm gonna end this video right here please remember to stay safe and take care of yourselves as always and please join me for my next video bye bye for now